My name is Anders Ronning. I'm the attending physician at the Municipal Emergency Ward in Fredrikstad. Today we're going to go through the equipment that we carry with us in the physician manned ambulance. First, we have our main unit, which we will go through in detail in just a minute. Underneath, uh, we find the oxygen unit with oxygen tank and the equipment needed to uh, deliver oxygen to the patient. On the side of the oxygen unit, we have a set of vacuum splints for bone fractures. And on the top shelf, in the back, we have the special units, hemorrhage control, one for wounds and sutures, anesthesiologists for um, endotracheal intubation, handheld um, ultrasound, a sepsis set with um, ceftaxim antibiotics and uh, blood cultures, delivery kit for pre-hospital birth, kit for um, uh, urinary catheters. In front of the special units we have the suction unit and some uh, protective gear to keep us uh, from uh, infections and harm. In here we have the lab equipment for measuring um, white blood cells, hemoglobin and uh, blood sugar and some urine samples among others. In our uh, main unit we have an infusion set with a bag of uh, ringer acetate and an infusion uh, set to give um, boluses of um, fluids. We have a package of eye gels, uh, larynx masks for children and for adults, as well as um, ventilation bags and masks for adults and uh, children. The larynx masks are um, a kind of equipment that we use, especially uh, in cardiac arrest, when we need to maintain an uh, open airway and to uh, ventilate our patients. We also carry with us equipment for producing our intravenous axis, infusion sets and syringes of course. On the other side of the wall we carry with us these pre-filled syringes with saline for flushing and some um, decompression needles for uh, tension pneumothorax. We also have a unit for intraosseous axis containing these um, pre-made packs with a needle and a fixation set for different kind of uh, placements of the needles and also for different ages. We also carry with us these pre-made cotton rolls that we put on each side of the intraosseous uh, axis as well as a self-adhesive uh, bandage that we wrap around the leg or the arm or wherever we put the intraosseous axis because we um, experience that uh, the needle has a tendency to be pulled out when you move the patient in and out of the ambulance or uh, on and off the stretcher. So we always put these on each side of intraosseous axis and um, wraps it with, um, with self-adhesive bandage. We also carry with us airway unit containing laryngoscopes and uh, McGill's forceps uh, remove uh, foreign bodies from the trachea or the airways. Small portable entitled tidal CO2 measurement device to check whether our tubes placed in the trachea is in the right place or not. Lastly, we have half automatic uh, AED defibrillator. Soon will be replaced by a multi-monitor. We also carry with us a sepsis unit containing cefotaxime as uh, the only antibiotic we carry with us, which is uh, mixed in 100 ml bag of saline and uh, given after weight in the children and as a standard dosage of 2 grams in uh, adults. We try to give uh, antibiotics to uh, all the patients that are more than uh, 30 minutes away from the hospital uh, with the symptoms of sepsis. There's also blood cultures in the unit, so we um, try to uh, get uh, blood samples from two different places on each uh, of these patients and before we give the antibiotic if it's possible. And of course if the patient is uh, really sick and we don't have the time to take the blood samples well then we will prioritize to give the antibiotic of course. We also carry with us a portable ultrasound device containing two types of probes, one linear probe and one combination probe. The, the linear probe is mainly used to um, get venous access in those uh, difficult um, situations where there's where it's difficult to see the veins or feel the veins. Then we can uh, we use this one to, uh, to visualize them and then we also can see the needle going in so it's, it's much easier to hit and to, um, to establish a venous access. Uh, it's also nice to um, evaluate whether there is a pneumothorax or not by long sliding. 
in the upper part of the thorax on both sides. The combination probe is mainly used to, uh, to do simple heart examinations, just to see if there's some areas of the heart that doesn't contract as well as the other ones, for instance in myocardial infarction, or if there's signs of a major heart failure, if there's uh, hydronephrosis, and also to check for bleeding in the abdominal cavity. We just hook these probes up to a completely normal smart pad with an app, and uh, when we've uh, connected it, it uh, just uh, turns up a bunch of uh, potential uh, examinations, and we just press the one we want to do, and then everything is preset for us. So it's really, really easy and really quick to, to set up for us in a pre-hospital setting with a limited amount of time. This is where I work. In the passenger seat in front, I um, have access to uh, some equipment. We have some extra radios in, in case we need to communicate with the other units going out uh, in several different channels. I also have my GPS system where all of my missions also come in. My main task uh, when I, we get the mission is to um, describe for my partner where we're going and to navigate on the way uh, out there, as well as uh, describing what kind of um, casualty we're going to and and to try to make a plan on the way out there to prepare the team on what kind of tasks we're about to head into. One of the important tasks that we have as uh, doctors pre-hospitally is to uh, provide pain relief. And if you're uh, interested in how we do that, you can uh, press the link here to uh, watch uh, the video.